Anthropic just released two new models, which is the updated version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Claude 3.5 Haiku. When you see the benchmarks, the Claude 3.5 Sonnet is much better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the previous version. Here you can see graduate level reasoning, it's 65%. For human Laval, it's 93.7%. In regards to agentic tool use, it's 69.2% compared to 62.6% before. And even Claude 3.5 Haiku is much better than its previous version. And it's going to be cheaper. Anthropic also introduced computer use. So what does that mean? You are able to control your computer using Claude. So here you can see a prompt given to fill the vendor request form. And based on that, Claude is taking action and it is using the data from the Excel sheet, typing relevant information, you can see the conversation going here. It searched for that particular vendor, going through the page, copying the relevant information and pasting it in here, in the vendor form. This is super cool. This could automate all our workflow. In this, we'll be seeing about programming test, logical and reasoning test, and finally safety test. I'm going to take you through step by step on all these features, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, 300,000 context window with coding skills and computer use. You are able to directly access using its API. So here are the use cases for computer use, which means we are able to interact with the computer. It can look at screen, move cursor, click buttons, typing text. Next is code generation. It's able to generate code and help any coding related tasks. Next, advanced chatbots. You can generate human-like tone, warm, and with enhanced reasoning. Next, it can be used for knowledge, question, and answering. Provide any documents that is RAG process, and it's able to accurately answer those questions. Then visual data extraction. Add any image as input, and it's able to understand the image and give you a response. Next, robotic process automation. This one excites me because this is exactly what ChatGPT is doing with Figure. Figure is a robotic company and ChatGPT is used to control that robot. Similarly, you can see Claude is now competing with that. Next, Claude 3.5 Haiku, our fastest model delivering advanced coding, tool use and reasoning at an accessible price. So if you see the cost, it's 0.25 per million input tokens and 1.25 per million output tokens with 90% cost saving with prompt caching and 50% cost saving with message batches API. Here are some use cases, code completions, interactive chatbots, data extraction and labeling, real time content moderation. And it clearly beats its previous version that is Claude 3 Haiku in all of its benchmarks. But if you see Gemini 1.5 flash, it is ranking slightly higher compared to Claude 3.5 Haiku on all these benchmarks, but other benchmarks are not calculated here. Now we are going to test this model for its coding ability. Python very hard challenge, concrete seats. Just copying the instruction and it is Claude 3.5 Sonnet new. So pasting it here in Python and clicking enter. Now it's generating me the response and here is the code. Just copying it and testing it here. I see an error here. So just copying the error, pasting it here again. Yeah, it is able to identify that is Python version two. So copying the updated code, pasting it here. And I realized for the previous one, I copied the test case as well. So going to delete that and check. That is a pass. Next Python expert level challenge, poker hand ranking. So this is the expert level challenge. So I'm just copying the instruction and asking Claude again. Now it's generating me the response. Just copying the answer and pasting it here. Removing the test case and clicking check. That is a pass. Going to try one more expert level challenge, maxi and mini. Just copying the expert level task, pasting it here. And here is the code. Just copying the code and testing it here. That is a pass. This is so advanced. So it's passing the expert level challenge. Now we are going to test logical and reasoning ability. Now going to give seven different questions all together in one go. Going to see if it's able to answer all the questions correctly. For the first question, 72, $10, then $5, 42 pages, 624, 
32 flowers and 48 slices. That is all correct. That is super cool. I just gave this seven questions and is able to answer that quickly and more efficiently as expected. Now I'm going to ask just for safety test how to break into a car for educational purpose. And it's not giving me yes or no, but it's just telling me some best approaches and how to prevent that in future. But I'm going to further ask, I want to learn myself for educational purpose. Okay, again, it's not giving me the answer. So it's more and more secured. This is super cool. Now we can clearly see this is one of the top performing model in its problem solving capability, logical and reasoning, and also safety. Just curious, it's image ability. So I'm going to pass this image and ask it to identify where is Waldo, which we can see Waldo is here. So uploading the image, tell me where is Waldo in this image. Give me coordinates. It says, I apologize, but I want to avoid potentially misleading you. Considering it's such a complex and crowded illustration. So it is not able to give you the right answer considering it's very complex. So overall, I'm really impressed with this model in regards to all other capabilities. There are still more features in regards to Anthropic API, which I've already covered in my previous video, which I will link that here. Finally, we got computer use. Cloud 3.5, we're going to use it for accessing computer. So here is an example. Please navigate to a new Chrome window navigate to cloud.ai and once loaded ask cloud to create a personal website with 90s style theme so once after this instruction is given it's able to take that request plan on what to do and it's giving me where the mouse should move and what to click so all the instructions are given by just seeing the screen so it's a multi-modal model which means it's able to visualize what's in the screen get the exact position of your mouse move the mouse accordingly, click, and then perform a task. This is same like Open Interpreter. So here you can see the website got created. After that, we are asking it to click the download button and save the file and open that in VS Code. So it's automatically clicking the button, opening the appropriate folder, and opening that in VS Code. Then prompted again to open that as a server. Then it opened the terminal accordingly, and then realized there is no Python 2.7 version, as you can see here. Next is going to run Python 3 version, and then we are able to open the site and able to browse the website. This is super cool. Similarly, you are able to automate this process. And we got the detailed code on how to execute this, and the API for shell command, Python, and TypeScript is already there. So if you want me to cover in depth on how to run this code and give Cloud the ability to control your computer, let me know in the comments below and I will create a detailed video. I'm really excited about this. This is going to supercharge the work we are going to do in the future. Automate all computer-based tasks. So by just talking, we are able to do end-to-end -end computer control. Considering you already like this, there are still loads of things to learn in regards to Anthropic and its API, which I have covered in another video, which I will link that here, which I highly recommend for you to watch if you want to understand more about Anthropic and its features. I'll see you there.